Commander, a pleasure to see you again. Can I help you with something? Thank you. Have a pleasant visit to Nos Astra, Commander. Bad luck on the stock market. Dead piling up. Perhaps you need to explore other options. Indeed you take. Paid off my debt and helped me gain valuable job skills. Now, just five years later... No, you don't understand! I lost it somewhere near the transport terminal. is the right career option for you. Pardon me, I'm dealing with damn Ilium travel bureaucracy. Were you trying to get them to help you find this locket? Oh. Steven. Thank you. Thank you so much. My daughter was young when he died. This is the only memento she has of him. Please accept this. It's much less than I would have had to pay the bureaucrats to authorize a search. of money here. Soft people who'd make good victims. This place is one bad day away from becoming Omega. If this is the best you have, I'll make do. But you're certain the neural stimulators are Listen, I know the data is vital to the Corosa family. Asana Dantius didn't give us time to... What is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. I overheard you talking. Is this the data you're looking for? The Corosa Generational Archive. You found it! Thank you. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. Why is this data so important, anyway? It's a genetic history for the entire Corosa family. It's used for high-level reproductive negotiations. It would be like a human... pedigree, I suppose. Without it, you're bargaining from a greatly weakened position. Losing this would have hurt my family for generations, maybe even destroyed it. If this data is so important, why didn't you have backups? We did. A rival family introduced a computer virus and our techs were sloppy. The virus destroyed all our data. I just spent a fortune getting the data recovered and reconstructed when Nasana went crazy. We live in a world of infinite data redundancy. To lose something so important because of one crazy Asari? There's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. Excuse me. You know where I can find Serena? She's not here anymore. Oh, you're the one she was helping out. She took a job off-world. Didn't say where. She gave me something for you. Looks like a message. She didn't say anything else? She just gave me that and left. Not even a goodbye. Hey, Shepard. I was on my way to a new life when the new burst arrived. The bitch is dead. I assume that means your friend is alive and he finished his job. Tell him if I ever see him, I'll buy him a drink. Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know, some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us.
No, I haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was legal. I don't know. I'm going to call in a favor and have a friend examine the contract. Shepard, I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it, and saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. How's Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Thorian. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again, or did the Thorian somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus' hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive, and the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans, but... The medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was too good to be true, but we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable. Which they have. Can they actually force these procedures on you? No. But they can declare us in breach of contract. Which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. What kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Sometimes the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. Wait a minute, Shiala. You were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue, like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontier's representative knows about the issue. Corporate security, what a life. Regular breaks, regular paycheck. Still not worth it. Killing on salaries too easy. I have to work for every job I get. Makes me really look at the job. Makes me care who I'm hunting. Otherwise it's just another name on a piece of paper. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Their use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. All of you. Humans. 
Salarians, Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Perhaps we could work out different tests. Something that will work for both sides. If the colonists were not willing to abide by the terms of the contract, they should not have signed it. The onus is not upon me to accommodate them. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. Asari like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the Embassy, the other was a greeter for the Consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not. A I didn't. Oh. I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. You did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus' hope again. I don't think I could have. Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. You know Irinya won't even talk to the non-Asari customers. It's like she's turned pure blood into her religion or something. I heard she lost her daughters when the Geth attacked the Citadel. Right. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem, or... Did she kill somebody already? Relax. I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara's the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Just a cars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear, and a Just a car would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases. And everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. Why are you worried about other species coming into contact with her? If a Justicar kills an Asari, none of us questions it. But if she killed a human... Do you think the Alliance would understand her actions and respect her authority? You can't even figure out your own religions. It's a big diplomatic incident just waiting to happen. Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, 
They're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's, like, I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. It's closer to a religious group than a legal branch. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain. And they die before breaking their oaths. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off of this world. Has Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. The thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. Why do you think it was mercenaries? Dakni Kerr was cutting through a back alley last night when someone killed him with a shotgun. I saw his body this morning. They'd used modded rounds. That means Eclipse Mercs. You must know something about these Eclipse. I occasionally do business with them. But only in well-lit places. With my guards. And only after the creds clear. This is a scummy bunch, even by Merc standards. They sell red sand, all kinds of illegal items. And they are all cold-blooded killers. Why would these mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you, too? I have no idea. We're innocent merchants. But they killed him, so they must be after me, too. I have to work the angles and get out of here. You don't seem too broken up about your partner's death. Dakni Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now, my worry is me. It's unhealthy to be a Volus in the Nosastra spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named Pitney Four. I should go. Don't admit it, but the Eclipse sisters run this area. Nothing to see here. Move along.
Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. She'll like our mission, then. If you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I can. Besides, she's been looking at crime scenes longer than our two lifespans combined. She knows how to handle herself. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. Let's remember that next time Shepard sends us into impossible odds. That's about twice a day, best I can figure. Most of the time I'm not being stupid about it. I can't say the same for Anaya's superiors. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line, I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. You mentioned a crime scene? A Volus merchant was murdered. It was a professional hit, so we're not dealing with junkies looking for a score. I'm thinking the local Eclipse mercenary band. Can't prove it, but if the Volus was dirty too, maybe it's just a deal gone bad. What do I need to know about these mercenaries? Eclipse mercs are professional killers. They sell red sand, trade illegal weapons tech, and smuggle criminals off-world. They control some back alleys around here. I haven't been able to find their nest yet, though. What can you tell me about Justicars? They're a kind of... humans might call them warrior monks. They live by a complex code that compels them to punish the wicked and protect the pure. They've been a part of Asari culture for millennia. I read adventure stories about Justicars when I was a child. What do you think of Samara herself? She's been a Justicar longer than three of your lifespans. Whoever she was before she swore that oath, that person is dead. People seem nervous about Samara's presence. Asari admire Justicars, but we also know that they kill without mercy when they find corruption. And Justicars never leave Asari space. Why is she here? I doubt it's to investigate the murder of some corrupt Volas. I have to go. Good luck. We should find Samara before the detective does. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every Asari does, I guess. been spotted.
Those were my best troops. Tell me what I need to know, and I will be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. What was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell! Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. <laughs> My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? I'm Commander Shepard, and I need your help with a critical mission, Samara. You honor me, but I am in the middle of an investigation. I'm going up against suicidal odds, and I need the best. That's you. I sense the truth in what you say, and it humbles me. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. Uh, the human is lost here. Can one of you clarify? I was trying to convince her to leave with you, but just a car is in their code. The detective has been ordered to detain me. I can't force her to disobey an order. And after a day, Samara starts killing anyone in her way? I am afraid so. There must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Can you tell me more about Justicars? We are individuals who have forsworn family, children, and worldly possessions aside from some weapons and armor. We travel a sorry space righting wrongs as defined by the ancient code we have each memorized. Ilium may be dominated by Asari, but it isn't in Asari's face. My quarry fled to this place. I am sworn to hunt her down, and I will follow anywhere she goes. It is rare for a Justicar to leave Asari's face, but I must follow my oath. If I suffer for it, I will accept that. A moment ago, you refused to give up your investigation, but now you'll swear to follow me? If I stay, I will be compelled to kill many innocents to escape incarceration. Like me. I may be killed, and my quarry would be free to continue murdering. If I come with you and survive your mission, I can resume my investigation. To do that, I need the ship's name to track her to her next hiding place. It is a simple choice. Suppose that makes sense. This Justicar code seems quite strict. It may seem so to you, but this is my oath. The expedient path may be fast and simple. That does not make it the right path. Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse mercs are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. Again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? Why are the mercs after you? I know nothing about any mercenaries, Earth Clan. I'm merely an innocent merchant trying to make his way in life. The Eclipse are out for your blood. I need your help to break into their base. Shouldn't we work together? Yes. You're right, Earth Clan. I'm desperate. 
I've got angry mercs after me, and now this Asari Justicar. Let's talk. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. So they are perturbed and want to kill me. Tell me about this chemical you brought in. It's called Minogen X3. And it's very, very, um, illegal. Anyone with biotic powers who is exposed to it becomes more powerful. The higher your exposure, the more powerful you get. But too much of it, you die. That's the part that the Eclipse found disagreeable. You've been in the Eclipse base. What do you remember? It's a series of docking bays where the Eclipse keep their private ships. They're well armed and they've got mechs. And they're all murderers. Every one of them kills someone as part of their initiation. It sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. Please don't start trouble about my prisoner. Trust me, I'd release her right now if I could. It's a great honor to have a Justicar here, but I could do without the honor of having her kill me. I'd like to avoid killing you, Detective. Unfortunately, the moment my code dictates I must, I will. There is only the code. She says this kind of thing like she's talking about what to eat for dinner. You're not gonna lock her up? Any attempt to put me in a passive restraint system will be regarded as a hostile action, and I will be forced to attack. Yeah, that. Find a way into the Eclipse hideout. Wasea, their leader, must have a record of the ship name.
I didn't fire my weapon once. I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. You're in an enemy uniform, and I'm gonna kill you. I'm not one of them. I knew. I thought being Elnora the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. What do they do here that you don't like, Elnora? I thought we'd be flying around the galaxy shooting up bad guys and stuff, right? But no. They just sell red sand and illegal weapons tech. They even smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off-world. What does Ardat Yakshi mean? It's an ancient Asari word for something that... I thought was just a superstition until now. It means demon of the night winds. I didn't think they were real, but the boss said this scary lady was one. What do they do here that you don't like, Elnora? I thought we'd be flying around the... But no. They just sell red sand and illegal weapons tech. They even smuggled an art. What ship Yachty. did they use for the smuggling? Wow, I have no idea. It was a few days ago, and like I said, I'm new. They didn't tell me anything. Get out of here, Elnora. If you so much as jaywalk, I will find you. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm going. Thank you. Thank you. 
Tell the detective this. Shipping manifest it shows that Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of Red Sand. This isn't what that Asari wanted, but it's proof that Volus is a criminal. No doubt, no, Detective and I would want to see this. We gotta keep moving. things and they happen fear me lesser creatures for i am biotics made flesh i don't know what drugs you're on but stay back and i won't shoot you you will regret your scandalous words i am a great wind that will sweep all before me like a a great wind a great biotic wind yes 
The Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. They may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. That I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Are you part of Pitney Force trade group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. He didn't say anything about you going missing. Didn't want to get stuck here. All that guy cares about is money. He'd screw over a friend for pay any day. Bah! I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first, the leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasaya about like a rag doll. Fifteen creds says the little guy doesn't get five steps in before the merc explodes him. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. Wasaya will tear you apart. Take a nap, you'll feel better. Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic rich blood will be the last step of my game. But great wind. Biotic god. I'm I What was I saying? I'm tired. You may be right. Yes, I'm tired. I'll nap. Destroy the universe later. He doesn't deserve to live. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off-world. First a Justicar shows up, now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass! Cut me up ahead. Firing concussive shot! some record of that ship around here somewhere. This is probably the ship that crazy Asari is looking for. We should head back to the station and tell her what we know. Or we could look around and see what else is out here. We got time. Let's look around some more. Should we go back to the spaceport main yard? Let's go. Thank you for removing the eclipse threat, Earth Clan. It will take them months to rebuild their organization. Also, 
Merely out of curiosity. When you were poking about, did you perhaps run across a shipping manifest that belongs to me? You never know when something like this might come in handy. If it might change your mind, Earth Clan, returning that manifest would be very profitable for you. If you give it to the detective, her reward will be a pat on the back. If you have something that'll encourage the Justicar to leave, show it to her. I got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. The Eclipse smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off-world. She's who you're really after, isn't she? You continue to impress. Yes, I was here tracking the Ardat Yakshi. She is a dangerous criminal, and I will bring her to justice. After your mission is complete, of course. You're sworn to follow a code that dictates your decisions, but I'm running a military operation. You wonder if I will refuse to follow orders because of my code? I can't allow that to happen. By agreeing to follow you, I am compelled to swear the most difficult of Justicar oaths, the third oath of subsumation. After I do, your orders will override the code. You should know, however, that I'll still give you my opinion if the situation warrants. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service, so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. I can see that this is a very important act, Samara. Thank you. Truly, the life of a Justicar can get lonely. I admit I am looking forward to serving with a company of honorable heroes. Shall we return to your ship? I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. Let's see what you've got there. Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard and any evidence she brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Thanks, Shepard. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger, and a human at that. But you came through. It's a shame this Elnora escaped. But I'll get her. At least you put her on the run. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. I have proof that Pitney 4 smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Take this. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the Collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? 
A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. <laughs> 